Hey guys, Barry here and welcome back to IGS. And here we are having a look at the, sorry if I'm saying this incorrectly, is it the Fire De retractable controller for the Nintendo Switch. Okay, let's get unboxing this bad boy. So this is, well it says here in the box, retractable controller. This is for, of course, uh, Nintendo Switch and the OLED versions as well, okay. And up in the top right hand corner here, it says 5 million uh, what is it? Five million lifetimes mechanical buttons. No, uh, no, I'm not sure if these are actually mechanical because okay. So this is just for showcasing purposes, right? I have been using this for the past few days this week, and it's actually not. It's a. It's not. It's not a bad. Uh, you know, grip for the, the, the Switch console, right? It's not bad at all. It's quite well, kind of weird, but kind of unique in its own way. But let's show you here the box as well. All right, so here's the back of the box, just to show you here. So there is a, a couple of wheels here. So these are actually for the sensitivity of the uh, the analog sticks, if I'm correct. So this product is a direct connected game controller for a Nintendo Switch and Nintendo Switch OLED consoles. Uh, and what does it say? Embedded, I think it's spelled incorrectly, embedded sign, easy to operate, plug and play, no Bluetooth pairing connection is required. The ergonomic design makes the grip comfortable, joystick sensitivity are adjustable, which makes more easy to control. Equipped for, sorry, equipped with the charging port uh, to, where are we, sorry, to support charging while playing the games. Equipped with a type C plug, no additional cable connections are required and dual motor vibration and turbo uh, function. Now, what I have here is the left side. The right side has like a uh, built-in like LED lights here, but it uh, doesn't bother me, this one here. So here we have uh, we have LED in uh, indicator that it's working. We have a Type-C port here, A, B, X, Y buttons. We have our second wheel there, so two analog sticks, as you can see. We have a capture button. Okay, we have our D-pad, which is quite nice. Uh, so we have the right 3D, it says, and left 3D. Okay. Now, what I like personally, so these shoulder buttons are actually quite big. The reason why I got these is not because of the R1, well, it says R1 and L1 shoulder buttons, no. It's actually the, well, the, as they state here, R2 and L2, the ZL and ZR buttons, because if you look at it right, so you will see these look very like analog trigger buttons. But unfortunately, while I was testing this, the shoulder buttons, when I will showcase them to you, it's actually like a digital input. So I'm pressing it so much, right, with, with my finger. Okay, pressing it. But maybe 70% 70, 70 of the way, it'll actually work, the button, unfortunately. Wheel button one. Wheel button adjusts to uh, the sensitive of left joystick and to the right joystick, okay. so. Yeah, and also here, I guess to keep costs down, well, just playing here at the bottom, but up here, we have the uh, Made in China, the Fire De Telescopic One Piece, uh, new item made in China here. And here we have some support information, model the KM701. Okay, the address there, the email to, oh, sorry, not even showing you property. But uh, yeah, and the UK address, the information right here. So let's actually take it out of the box. So all that's in here is the grip itself, okay, let's get rid of the box here, and a little piece of... Okay. Let's bring this one around, sorry with the noise. So, it's a manual, but it's actually, it says colourful lighting, but this one here hasn't got colourful lighting though, okay. So specifications down here. Okay, so when you pair this with the Switch console itself, you have to choose the option wired connection in the settings, system settings, which I can show you. But uh, yeah, I will show you how to get it to work now. So all that's in the box, as you can see, is the gamepad, the grip, and the manual, okay. So yeah, let's have a look here. So there is vibration control there. You can change, you know, there's turbo on it too, as well, if you're interested. I haven't tried that out myself. Uh, not really my kind of thing, but uh, yeah, we'll give it a go here. 
just to state this here grip has no back extra back buttons okay so let's there yeah, so let's yeah just show you it's blank on the other side so let's actually show you here what it actually looks like comes with two nice little pieces here to help with the uh, the analog sticks let's take this out so just that uh, doesn't you know break whatever right okay so here it is right here so what I like about it particularly as well is it looks uh, has the resemblance of like a Wii U gamepad you know like a pro controller the uh, analog sticks are up here instead of you know one here down here it might be uncomfortable but uh, it feels quite nice overall so this here is smooth so uh, there's no like rubber kind of grip here that will protect the, uh, the back of the switch but I'll just move this out of the way as well don't need this so okay yeah so here it is right here we have a d-pad okay our analog stick these are uh, one second I have a look here yeah so it actually does have built-in uh, gyro into these here as well which is quite good so at least that's that's good to know itself uh, so as you can see here we have our uh, minus button here you know plus there our capture home yeah so I guess from my personal preference they are a bit close to each other but what I understand in regards to design what else could you do but uh, the only thing to get rid of well if you want space we take rid of the uh, the turbo buttons uh, personally I'm not into them but if they got rid of them they could move the, uh, the buttons down more I you know give them you know space so you don't actually hit them if you if you want to press the, uh, the plus button you might hit the, hit the home button by accident you know and vice versa here we have wheels for sensitivity you can adjust it there yourself which is quite good uh, so yeah, so let's have a look here. Let's have a listen. I don't think these are mechanical, personally, but... They could be, but who knows, really. I'm not going to open this up. Uh, so, you have a clicks here, the blue side here, and the red. So, let's have a look here at the back of it. Okay. Hold this to open it up, so it'll stay there, and when you have the console in, you press this here now, it'll clamp together, okay. So, yeah, the uh, R1 buttons here, the uh, L and R, are quite big, quite so big shoulder buttons, as you can see right there, which I do like, personally. So, this is designed for, like, an adult hand, like myself, because, like, there's no way you can miss those, you know, top shoulder buttons as such. Now, the, again, the reason why I bought this was because of the uh, the shoulder buttons here, the, the the trigger ones. So, me, myself, I would like to see Joy-Cons or a grip like this that has trigger buttons, you know, uh, Z, you know R2, ZL, ZR buttons, that is actually analog for the likes of racing games especially and any shooting games. But, yeah. So, here we have it here. There is no other grip that I can see on the, uh, on the market, you know, for a Switch uh, controller, sorry, a Switch console that has these type of shoulder buttons, you know, not, I mean, I mean like, like a grip or actual Joy-Cons, nothing like that at all. So I do have my Ghoulie Kit, you know, King Kong 2 Pro controller as well, just to show you in regards to, like, a comparison. Uh, but yeah, let's get the console connected, will we? So, spread it out. And put it down that's fine we get the switch console here right now okay so what we do is slide it in okay yeah put it in here just to show you so get the grip the press the button on the back there we go and it is locked in just to show you uh, it seems quite secure looking at it so, yeah, looks quite cool, I think, but in a weird kind of, you know, in a weird way, but, so let's turn it on. So for you to get it working, okay. All right, let's turn it down here, somewhat. So, just to show you here, there it is there in action, I'll turn the brightness down. Okay, 
So, go to the settings, to get it to work. Go to, uh, sorry, controllers and setting, uh, centers there, excuse me. Make sure this is turned on, Pro Controller Wired Communication, turn it on. And that's how, just to show you here, you see, it will not work. But when you press it on, there we go, it works fine. Okay, so let's have a look here at some games in action, will we? So uh, let's check out uh, a racing game, Rise Race to Future in action okay yeah so i hope you can see this here we go here we have rise race the future in action all right so just to show you here i'm going to press some of the shoulder button here right so so i press it down it'll work but so just to show you from a side perspective okay if i can get it there just to kind of yeah so in theory it should work because it's uh, it's well like an analog would work exactly like a Ghoulie cat controller, but this here is digital. There we go. So, just show you what it looks like. You know, uh, you know the the grip in action. Sorry. I would also recommend when you use this, if you do get one of these here, you can, uh, well, maybe do like a, a calibration of the analog sticks just so you have it calibrated for you. The motion controls are really nice with this here. It does work really well. Uh, I will show you a game, uh, Morphe's Law, after, just to show you what it looks like in action. But all right, so there was rise in action. Just to show you down here, it looks like these are uh, like buttons here at the bottom, but they're not. This one here is actually solid. But here we have our port here for our USB port. If you want to uh, charge it while you're using it, and quite handy, you can actually just leave it standing here. One sec, there we go. It can stand, which is quite nice. It's quite a nice feature. Personally, if, if it was possible, right, uh, at the back of this here, would it be nice to have some sort of like a, like a, a kickstand, you know, for the switch, but I suppose it just what, even get one to attach on yourself, like, like a bracket of some sort, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, so let's check out another game in action. Okay, here we have Morphe's Law on the switch. Uh, it plays really well, I think, with this grip here. So let's have a look. Let's just skip this here. So, as you can see, it's it's perfect. Works really well. So it work, uh, looks great. Yeah, sorry if the angle's wrong. Apologies. Do that there, of course, as you can see. Okay, let's go over here. Okay. Let's get this little guy. So, so you hear what I mean as well. 
see what I mean? So, unfortunately, it doesn't. I would like it to. Uh, go, you know, when you hit it, you know, when you touch it first, but I wonder, could you do anything here with the sensitivity at all with it? Probably not, but the handheld mode uh, let's see here no, you can't hold on controls no, you can't don't care There we go, that's the tutorial done. Okay, let's check out one more game in action, shall we? Alright guys, so here we're looking at Bright Memory Infinite on the Switch. One of the best looking games on the Switch, I feel, uh, from a visual standpoint. Absolutely incredible. So, sorry if you can, uh, hopefully you can see that there. Okay, hold on, I'm trying to make it darker. Or Not better? Okay. So it has gyro. Oh, I'm playing this in a while, apologies. That's him gone. I'm probably going to die, but that's to be expected. But you get the point. But just, just so I can, I guess, show you. If I move down here, right. So again, just to show you. There we go. So, unfortunately, it does not work there properly. But, uh, if I show you now a comparison, actually, can I, with the uh, Ghoulie Kit. This is the King Kong 2. Okay, wonder if I can go back to the menu. Change grip. Or change the controller even number. So just show you what I mean. See? Even a little bit. Big difference there. Instead of going all you know nearly the full way, but Thank you. So I actually do show off this kit, sorry, this, this controller, excuse me, and a separate video, the Ghoulie Kit one, uh, how it's great with racing games, uh, Rise, amazing controller. Okay. But yeah, guys, that is the, uh, how, do you, how do I say it again? Sorry, well, trying to pronounce it. The, is it the Fire Duh, F-I-E-H-D-U-W, tele, uh, well, retractable controller for the switch i will leave a link, a link in the description below where you can find it i got an amazon uk i actually have contacted the company with the email given here on the box to see you know about any feedback you know, that they can give to me if i'm doing anything wrong about getting the shoulder buttons to work correctly but who knows but yeah thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this is this any this control any interest to you uh it's again for me it's quite unique looking has a kind of like a a Steam Deck kind of feel to it. Uh, it feels good. There's no rubber on it at all, but it does feel comfortable when you're playing it here. 
So guys, what do you think of the Fire De retractable controller here for the Switch? Are you a fan of it? Any plans of having maybe a look at it, a buying one, you know, yourself? Let me know in the comment section below. You can of course check us out on YouTube and Twitter, and for more Nintendo and gaming accessories, keep it right here at IGS. Alright guys, see you soon. Bye.